All right, at this point, what I want to do is to take a look at some of these brushes here, which are all within the sub-confines of the Healing Brush Tool. And the Healing Brush Tool is an amazing tool. It's really great to work with and easy to do. But we'll take a look at the Spot Healing Brush Tool, Patch Tool, and hell, even the Red Eye Tool, which is not necessarily the greatest, but we'll still be able to work with that in a future video. But first, um, let's take a look at what the Spot Healing Brush Tool does. In fact, what a lot of these healing brushes are attempting to do is to notice where my brush is, to allow you to get a small section of an area and it will figure out what's going on outside of that area and it'll try to blend all of those things all together. Well the first one that you can work with here is the spot healing brush tool and if you make it smaller and notice mine's a little feathered there you can go to a small spot like right here and if you wanted to get rid of this little blemish you just click on that and you can see what it's doing you can see where it's sort of painting and then at this point when you let go wow you can see that it's done a pretty good job of actually you know getting rid of that little black sort of mole that was there and sort of replacing it with something else. Now it's not going to be perfect in a lot of situations so you really have to think about what you're trying to do and how it's going to try and work out with what you're attempting to achieve. Now there's a couple of other ones that you can work with. The spot healing one is fine but if you wanted to sort of attract or sort of work with a specific area. For example, I'm going to take the patch tool, but in order to prepare for the patch tool, what I'm going to do is to grab the lasso tool. All right, now let's say we wanted to remove this area here. In fact, why don't we just zoom in? Now, I'm not going to go crazy with this because he's got way too many wrinkles for us to really work at and sort of work with successfully. But let's say Look, just for example's sake, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make a selection around this area. Now, if I wanted to change this area into something that looked a little bit more like this area or this area here, you can work with the patch tool, which basically allows you to get into the selection and say, hey, I want this selected area to look more like, and drag it, and then let go, and say more like this area. So if you let go at that point, and now con Command D or Control D, you can see that we've gotten rid of the specific area right there. And again, I can do the same trick that I did before File Revert, and you can see what it looked like. And you see the simple area right here where there was that wrinkle. And if I press Command D or Control D on a PC, bang, that wrinkle's gone. And it's a real easy way to sort of get certain areas to work to your advantage. However, you know, I mean, it's not always going to be perfect because, well, in certain areas, there's not much you can do. For example, if I were to come in here and just say, ooh, he's a little too wrinkly right there, and then grab this area right here and sort of put it there, well, let's see what happens. Well, bleh, it just really doesn't look very realistic. Kind of looks like he's had some extremely bad plastic surgery or something like that and you'll notice there's still wrinkled areas so you might say well what if we just extended that well you know I mean especially a person of his age he's expected to have some wrinkles there and it's going to look that way so you should be you know having things look a little bit more realistic than it does right here so that's created these areas that don't really match up so not something that you should sort of specify but if you want a small or slight little change here and there in certain areas, it's a really great way to work. And it's an interesting way to try and attempt to fix damaged photos, among other things. It's one of the real easy things that you can do with these healing selection areas. So at this point, we're going to come back in the next video, and I'll attempt to use the traditional healing brush tool, and we'll talk about how that one works.